Ah, take Rabbit here again. Just um, going to expand a bit on the production equipment. So I actually invested in um, one of these. Mobile stabilizing device. Gimbal stabilizer. So, um, oh, let's get it unpacked and see what it looks like. One of the tricky things to take footage from a mobile phone is to want to hold in my hand. Taking video while holding it in my hand is sometimes a bit difficult. too much the camera. And also the camera isn't really in my experience I use an iPhone uh, X and uh, if you change the position of the camera very fast and you're doing for example 4K video you can't keep up the camera. So really this should the gimbal should be able to assist on that. The user manual. Oh, nice big text. Usually don't see such nice big text. I usually like to make the manual half the size and make it so you can hardly see what, what's going on. Okay. Got a USB cable. Even if it's giving a bit of a light, I would expect it to uh, be kind of out of power. Okay. So there. So now we're going to use the magic of video to read up on the manual a bit. And then we'll see if we can get it to work. Oh, look. stuff. Oh, now I have to find out what we use those for. And, wow, that's heavy. I wonder... Again, well, a lot of mystery stuff with this thing. Cool. Okay, now we'll follow up with extra info. Okay, now I got a battery pack. So this here, we charge it up with. Add into the USB port. That will start charging, and that was. The blue light that came on was this other one. Check, check, in the, check what those two lights were for. Um, yeah. So okay, so that's that. Now then, this here, um, there's no text on the box. 
and there's no text in the instruction manual but this has to be a GoPro mount it's like a fake um, smartphone uh, hammer and then what you do is you take this bracket and you mount it live and sledge. I have a GoPro but I'm actually using it to um, send this picture. Uh, I can't, can't actually screw up. But anyway, I can put this mount in the way I think they intend it to be used. your GoPro there and then it's held in, held in place. Quite a neat solution. So I'll be um, doing some testing on that also. I'll have to set up a different camera setup for that. But as I said, nothing in the nothing on the box, nothing in the manual about that. So we have this is zoom zoom level. And this is battery status on that. Oh. Just found out that I dropped two things out of the bag. Now this is the two washers for those um, screws. I just dropped, didn't see them in the back. Okay, we put them on the table. I'll put them later. And, um, yeah. So, um, hey, so that's battery indicator and that's status. That's the mode switch. And then that's on and off. So, let it charge up a bit to, uh, Continue testing. I'll put those washers on that bracket. So, here we go. So those the washers are in place now. At least where I think they should be. Not that there's any instructions. I wonder how long it takes to charge. Didn't say anything about that. Okay, let's get to the phone. Okay, seems to be okay. So anyway, I installed the, the app that you're supposed to have. And, um, and I got it done. It would be better actually with the main one. Main. So okay, now it's off. And then I press on the on button. So now and now it's in the save mode with the speed. Okay, position locked on the camera, so it should follow with the camera. Okay, now I need to actually get the Bluetooth to work. Just a sec. Need to connect these two together. Let's see if I can actually fix that with them. Let's 
that the one I had. Oh, it's still not communicating. Ah, no, I think I got it connected. You need to press the Bluetooth icon on the display. I wonder if I can. Yes, exactly. Now it's not. There's the Bluetooth icon there. On the screen, even if you pair it, you, this is iOS. So even if you pair it on the operating system level, you still need to go. Looks like you still need to pair it in the application. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now the zoom works. Okay. Let's see what happens when I press. Zoom. It took a photo. Let's say something. Okay, I didn't I wasn't able to read that. Yes, saved successfully. So okay, it starts video when you press now. So I'll be oh. Okay. So that's X Y locked. So let's read out the operation modes again. So that's three of them. We have three. Let's pan and tilt mode. Roll axis is locked. Camera pans left, right, and tilts up, down, following movement of the camera. Pan following, tilt and roll are locked. And then lock mode is the final where everything is locked. The camera will keep still and stay when mean the camera cannot follow. And let's move. Now, so you have a little bit of choices. How do you want to lock the um, camera basically in a certain orientation and be able to move the? Yes, that's that's locking it into into a specific orientation because now you can move the handle anyway, and the, the um, smartphone will stay in the same orientation. I can see it actually. So, what if I? And then you can use the joystick to move. Yeah, I can actually do that like this. Because now, um, how can I demonstrate? I know you can see that the camera stays in the smartphone stays in the same position. Wait. Actually, it would be much easier to see it. Uh, if we scroll around, patience. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, I'll probably get copyright strike. Let's on. Uh, okay. So now I can move the handle around. Forward and backwards. 
saying the camera stays in the same place. That's, I think, probably the most useful model. Now, when I was using this, there were some instances when it wasn't, because I did a little bit of offline testing also, that this um, independently started moving, even if I just left it like this. Then it, would, it was actually moving, but actually doesn't seem to be showing that behavior now. Because basically it should just stay in the same place as long as there's power. Uh, yep. And of course you can take pictures, you can take videos, and then you can trigger it from the uh, trigger there, and then the zoom is there. Then we can zoom in and out. Uh -huh. What else to say? There are there any special things that I would want to mention? Just to get to used to these different the, the three different different modes, but I mean basically it shouldn't be that difficult. What's that? It's actually not so. There's no indicator light thing that tells you what mode it's in, which is a bit irritating. You could have put in a multi color LED that would tell you which mode it's in. it longer. Still have to get familiar with how this mode switch works. It should lock it, come on. Now that really, that mold switch is a bit um, annoying. Like, it's not very intuitive when it's actually changing molds. really. They could have done that implementation a bit better. They could have put some feedback on what mode you're in. In my opinion. But, you know, it wasn't that expensive. So I can't really complain, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> that can be a bit of a pain. But I, I suppose one would use the fixed mode most. Anyway, so I wouldn't deal with the other other modes so much. Um, uh, this is the iPhone X that I have here. And it's pretty much one of the largest, like physically largest smartphones you can get. And it actually fits rather nicely, but with you can't, uh, which is not unexpected, you can't use the protection cover with it. And then it gets too um, thick, so you, or too wide, so you can't put it in. You need to adjust here, there's a knob here you use to move this bracket uh, that way, outward, so you can get the smartphone in, so that it balances better. Um, 
Yeah, then you install the app, and then you pair you. When I paired it on the operating system level to it, then it didn't really. But then you need to also click on the Bluetooth icon in the application. Yeah, well, as the basic seems to work. Okay, so I'm going to start producing um, content with this and um, maybe come back to the follow up video sometime later. Actually, I'll get some practical experience of actually you know, of using it. Anyway, if you found this interesting, consider subscribing. Um, hit the bell icon if you'd like to get the you know, notifications of those follow-up videos. And um, well, see you in the next one.